Hey there. If you're watching this, I'd wager you've got a furry friend with a teeny tiny hitchhiker problem. Yeah, I'm talking about fleas. The bad news? Fleas can be quite pesky. The good news? I'm here to show you how to get rid of fleas on dogs. But first, what are the things you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get into it. Get rid of it! You know, researchers from Purdue University showed in their study back in 2012 that certain fleas can live for up to 100 days. Imagine those little pests partying on your pup for that long. But, don't worry, today is the day they're getting their eviction notice. The first thing we're going to do is give your dog a thorough comb through. And when I say thorough, I mean Sherlock Holmes level meticulous. This is the first step in our flea eviction process. You can think of it like, you're the bouncer, and those fleas are the rowdy party goers. Time to show them the exit. Next up, bath time. Using a high quality flea shampoo is like calling in the SWAT team. The shampoo does a deep clean, knocking out any lingering fleas. It's vital to follow the instructions on the label. This isn't your usual suds and rinse. It's more like a full-on pampering spa treatment for your dog, but one that's deadly for those pesky fleas. The third step is introducing a flea prevention medication, either a topical one or an oral one, depending on what works best for you and your pup. If you're unsure, consult with your vet. They've got the answers. This medication is the equivalent of a security guard, keeping those unwelcome fleas from coming back to the party. Now, here comes the plot twist. While you're defleeing your dog, the fleas have been laying eggs in your home. Those eggs will hatch, and a whole new flea party will start. That's where your vacuum cleaner comes in. Vacuum your home thoroughly, especially where your dog spends a lot of time. Do this regularly, at least once a week, to suck up any flea eggs or larvae hiding in your carpets or furniture. Speaking of which, it's a good idea to have washable pet bedding for your dog because you'll want to wash that regularly, too. This whole process isn't just a one-time deal, it's more like a lifestyle change. And there you have it. A step-by-step -step guide on how to get rid of fleas on dogs. Trust me, with a little patience and persistence, you'll get your home and your furry friend flea-free in no time. Before we wrap up, remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share it with other pet owners who might find it helpful. Also, drop a comment below to let us know how your flea-fighting mission is going.